Do you know the world's biggest investor who writes the biggest biotech checks in this world is who? The United States government. And after that, who is writing the biggest checks? Well, the biotech industry in the United States and Europe. Now, these companies are thriving on technology and patents. They have done immense amount of innovation and exploration into the biosciences systems that now they are in a position to give stable, high income jobs to all of you. But you all also have benefit. And that is, you all have Biotechnica and of course me to guide you. But on the top of it, you all have very strong foundation in science, which majority of the students out of our country lack. Now, no matter whatever country you are, basics is important. And today I'm going to talk about more or less five technical skills, which every biotech candidate should have if they want to get a job in United States or abroad or anywhere in the world out of their country. So what are the skills you'll require? Now, the first technical skill, which is very, very important for you is molecular biology. Molecular biology techniques are needed in every scenario. But the moment I say molecular biology, it becomes PCR, DNA sequencing, gene expression analysis, genetic engineering, and whatnot. Molecular biology techniques uh, are most in demand, but recently we did a survey and we found out that majority of the students lack this skill. So that is why Biotechnica, in collaboration with Protein Design Lab, has come up with a molecular biology techniques internship, which you can take and you can boost your technical skills. So that's the first technical skill you should have. Now, the second one which uh, everybody should have is bioinformatics. See, bioinformatics is the, is the foundation today on which you will make a career in machine learning and artificial intelligence. If you want to make a career which is future proof, which is in bio IT and which gives you immense amount of opportunities in the future, then this is the right field for you. you if you are a working person, you will get full-time jobs. If you cannot work, you can get work from home jobs. You can do data analysis and do a freelancing job. A lot of jobs in the future will be from bioinformatics. So, and there are a lot of tools and techniques in an ever-growing field. This is ever-growing field and enhanced job prospects are there. So, of course, bioinformatics is one of the most sought after technical skill you should have. The next one which I will say is next generation sequencing NGS. So you can learn about the revolutionary NGS technology and how it has played a vital role in biotech. You can learn the NGS hands-on at Biotechnica and you can pursue a lot of research and development in biotech using NGS. Obviously, NGS leads to a lot of data interpretation, data analysis, which you will have to learn after the experiments are done. So this is another te third technical skill which you should have if you want to get into the market abroad. Now, the fourth one, which uh, I think is very important and a lot of companies are in, in this segment is protein engineering. So protein engineering is uh, where you can actually master how DNA, RNA can be manipulated to have the desired protein in the body. So yeah, that's a very important technical skill you should have. Now the fifth one I would say is uh, analytical instrumentation. So there are a lot of analytical instruments which you can go for. Now, apart from that, if you ask me cell culture and tissue engineering also, if that is your area of interest, you can always get into. Bioprocess engineering is also one domain where you can get in apart from protein engineering. So you can learn how the bioprocesses are developed, how it is scaled up and uh, what are the crucial components of a bioprocess uh, engineering and its core principles, fermentation techniques and bioreactor operations, all of this you should know. So I think I told you around uh, six or seven crucial technical skills. But apart from that, you should also have strong communication skills, interpersonal skills, adaptability, project management skills, especially software skills, Excel, you know, MS Excel or Google Docs, whatever you call it, networking skills, and problem solving and critical thinking skills. So if you have all of this, and then when you are applying for jobs abroad, and you should have certificates, you should have work experience to back that up. And then when you apply for a job abroad, your chances of selection is higher. So these are the pointers which I wanted to share today. But one very important point is 
it's not an easy uh, thing that you sit in your country and you apply, shoot an email and somebody will respond to you and they will, you know, hire you. You need a very strong statement of purpose. You need to have the right uh, background check where you're applying, tailor make your resume according to the job and then apply. And of course, have a vibrant, solid LinkedIn resume. That's how you can get a six-figure US dollar salary while you work abroad and of course bring a lot of forex to india well jokes apart thank you so much for watching this video and let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or, or queries i'll definitely try to help you thank you so much see you soon in the next one till then keep shining bye bye